Hello there, you amazing viewers and subscribers. Welcome to a brand new Doctor Who review for today. So this review is no other on Doctor Who the Aztecs, the second the sixth story from season one, which was broadcast from the twenty third of May to the thirty to the thirteenth of June nineteen sixty four. Now this one is a great story. I do love this one. As you can tell, I've got it on up here. So I've got the original DVD version and the special edition. So I'll just pop them two back up there. So what can I tell you about this great story I, I love? Now this is one of my favourite historian episodes from the early 60s really. I'm unfortunately Marco Polo missing. This is the only one of the ones I could actually sit down and enjoy. I really don't enjoy the Reign of Terror as much for Historian. I do like Historian episodes. I I would like to see Marco Polo, but I've read the Target novel book, and that is amazing. I do like that story. So the Aztecs. I absolutely do love this one. Set in the 15th century in Mexico. So I'm going to tell you a bit about the plot and what I personally think about it. What some, Even when Hartnell gives some great lines as the first Doctor in this. So, a bit about the plot. So, I literally, we've got the Tardis landing in Mexico in the 15th century. Barbara is staken for a reincarnation of an Aztec's high princess called Yakta. So, Yakta. It's Y-E-T-A-X-A. -A, something like that. I can't remember. Yaxta. Something like that. I can't say the name properly, sorry. So, she has this idea that she can rewrite history to stop people. So, the Aztecs basically have human sacrifices just so they can try and make it rain so the first doctor's companion barbara who stupidly is actually mistaken for this high prince um high prince uh princess aztec aztec she thinks she can try and stop the human sacrifices which is completely barbaric and absolutely stupid because even the doctor says we must not rewrite history. We cannot change history. Not one line. I absolutely do like this story. It's a great way. And it actually shows the first Doctor before he... This is before the Doctor starts his interference in other people and planets affairs. He, which is something that happens to, during his second incarnation. Because the first Doctor really does not try to interfere in other people and planets affairs. Where the second Doctor's like... Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna go and pop in and interfere. <laughs> that's what the second. That's the thing about it. It's like this. Is, it's progression the way the series has gone. The first Doctor's just there, time traveling through time and space, not interfering in other people's planets affairs. The second Doctor basically is like, mm, some things I can't, I need to interfere with. So he goes and does that. Then he gets put in trial by the Time Lords later on in the series. But enough about that though. I actually do like the story. It's a great way as well. I love the bit with the Aztecs. You have this Aztec, this Aztecs with um, like his mouth painting red or something. I think it's red. It's black and white, and he threatens to kill Barbara. I absolutely do like this story as well. I like the bit with Ian when he has to fight Lax Laxerton, something like that. Him and Ian and Laxerton has that fight. He literally knocks him off the building and he dies. At the end of it. I actually do quite enjoy the story a lot. I love the bit with the first Doctor. Where he tells Ian and Bravo not to interfere. And then the first Doctor gives. One of his famous speeches. This is the first time we hear a Doctor's speech. Where he goes. You cannot rewrite history. Not one lie. Be and be believe me. And he goes and tells him like. What you are trying to do. Is utterly irresponsible. And I like the bit where he goes. I know you're tr like he's trying to tell him not to change history and stuff. He goes, I know, believe me, I know. It feels like the first Doctor has gone and got before he literally encountered him. It sounds like he did try to interfere in other people on Planet's Affairs, but it went terribly wrong. So the first Doctor's went, no, hmm, I'm not going to interfere in that anymore, am I? No, I'm just going to go around traveling. That's the thing about it. Even though the first Doctor gives that great line where he goes, believe me, I know, I know, you know. I do quite enjoy the first Doctor's performance. Wayne Martin gives a great performance. So you have this Aztec. Uh, I can't remember his um, say his name. They, they really are very complicated names. And he has failed to kill Barbara. So Barbara keeps up the pretense of being 
the High Princess Aztec. The Doctor, basically, the Doctor gets engaged to a young woman in this because after finding that information while right, having a drink of cocoa, he accidentally uh, proposes to this woman. And the first Doctor basically gets engaged in the story, which is <laughs> funny. Even Ian goes, Oh, Doctor. Yes, my dear boy. Congratulations. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> That's the ankle finger about him. And the Doctor's like, Oh, he's just uh, chat, chatting to Ian. He goes, Oh, and I've got engaged. <laughs> I love the way the first Doctor does that. So. Why are you trying to find a secret tunnel that leads into the tomb, which Ian does find after Le Lex D or something like that, which is L X T A Lexta, something like that, seals up the tomb so Ian can go and drown. But fa failed, Ian finds the tomb that leads to Barbara, and the first doctor basically leads the garden. And by the time the first doctor gets to Barbara, Ian's already there. It's a great. Little twists and stuff. Susan is basically going to be punished for not into, like talking to, getting on with the other people. The way they laws are that they have to have human sacrifices. So they literally begin want to punish her. So when the TARDIS team basically, it's a great way way they get back to the TARDIS and leaves and the Aztecs literally turn around and like leave them. They're going back into the tomb. And it starts to rain. I quite enjoy this story. And they carry on with the human sacrifices, really. I do like this story. Because it, this story is actually one of those things that you know, being a time traveller, you cannot go around interfering. Which the Doctor does try to tell Barbara. But she goes, no, I'm having it my way because she's a stupid human. Actually, she's, she's a stupid human female. And this is the one point I don't really like Barbara. Because I think she in this, she goes very, very big-headed. Very, very stupid. Not all females are stupid. You do get some stupid females and you get stupid males in Doctor Who. But I think this is the one where you see Barbara come really, really stupid. I really don't like Barbara in the story. So that's basically the kind of plot and stuff. So what do I actually think about this story? It is a great historian story. I like the, I do like it. It's one of my favourite stories from the 1960s. That is an actual historian episode that we've got existing. I have to say, it is a great kind of connection with the first Doctor, where he literally tells him um, that he has tried to interfere. It's like, in a way, he like goes, oh, I have tried to interfere, but it's gone terribly wrong, so we should not ever interfere in human history. So, it's like the first Doctor's trying to prevent that. And it's a great way, really. It's a really, really great story as well. I really do quite enjoy the story, especially with the first Doctor, where he literally goes... You cannot rewrite history. Not one line. And um, believe me, my dear. I know. I know. I quite enjoy the first Doctor's performance. William Hartnell is brilliantly as the first Doctor. I really do him. I really do enjoy William Hartnell's run as the first Doctor. All in all, even though I haven't really reviewed a lot of the first Doctor stories, I have done the reviews on Town Planet, Dalek Invasion of the Daleks, and the Gunfighters, and now the Aztecs. So basically, done. Six stories of Hartnell out of uh, quite a bit of this. Because most of Hartnell stories are missing and they are out there. Well, somewhere out there. We have to, the BBC is trying to find them. It, what, the ones they can't find, they are literally making it into animation. So Hartnell, so far for Hartnell, we've got his existing episodes existing with two anim two stories being in animation. Where Troutons is the one that's got the lot of missing episodes. But we're slowly catching up for Troutons with the animations. I... Do enjoy the story, the Aztecs. It's a great first Doctor story. It's absolutely brilliantly, and I think all of the cast are absolutely amazing. It the ones that play the Aztecs, they are really really good, and they know their history by the looks of it. So they're trying to act the hardest, being in this kind of history episode. So this is so this is basically my review on Doctor Who, the Aztecs, and what I personally think of it. Um, it's not a bad story, with you, to be honest with you. If you are into history episodes, I would say, if you haven't seen the story, I would actually say go and check this out. Because if you haven't got it on DVD, you can also get Doctor Who, these episodes on BritBox, where Classic Doctor Who exists on BritBox. We've got BritBox now. So in a way, I kind of watch this on DVD, and then I go downstairs and I watch it on BritBox sometimes. I don't, but I... 
shouldn't really do because I've got them all on DVD and Blu-ray, but I'll still go down and re-watch them on Brickbox. <laughs> yeah, I do quite like Brickbox. Um, anyway, this is a really great historian episode. I like the whole setting with Mexico in the 15th century. I do like a really good historian episode. Really, really great historian episode. The first off does absolutely give a great performance and the way he literally tries to tell Ian and Barbara not to interfere, do not let them carry on their own way, let the sacrifices happen. And they're like, in Barbara's just going, nope, I'm having my own way. We're not having a sacrifice. Then what's the point being time travellers? You cannot go around interfering in people's past and the planets of people's and affairs. Merely the second Doctor does, and so basically so does all the other Doctors after the second, but it's still quite an enjoyable story. It's a great history episode. I like the bit where they have to sacrifice people to try and make it rain, and Barbara's just there going, no, stop. And they don't, they ignore her, um, they, they do go back to their other ways anyway. So, let me know in the comments what you think of Doctor Who the Aztecs. Is it one of your favourite historian episodes out there, like it is for me? Do you love it? Is it one of the ones you actually don't like at all from Season 1? Because Season 1 isn't really that great. You do have three good stories in this, which I personally enjoy, which is the Daleks, the Aztecs. And I do like the sensor rights a bit. I do like the sensor rights. I think that's a good story. Good alien planet. Set in space. I do quite enjoy the sensor rights. So join me tomorrow for another Doctor Who, either for another Doctor Who content video or a, another Doctor Who review. I haven't made my mind up what I'm doing yet for tomorrow. I have got a whole list of stuff I need to do. I mean, I've got uh, quite a lot here at the back. I have literally got a load of stuff. I've got to do videos on. I've actually copied it down. If anybody would like to make any requests on what stories would you like me to review for you, let me know in the comments in below. As you can hear, I have got a whole folder, and this is the sort of stuff I've got to... Every single thing I've done so far on stuff I have need to do, I've put at the back. So, anyway, let me know in the comments what you think of Doctor Who the Aztecs. Is it one of your favourite stories from season one? Is it a great story? Do you believe it to be? And let me know. Thank you for watching and have a great day tra travelling out there in the universe. And remember, if you go to any Aztecs episodes, you must not interfere in the course of time. Goodbye.